After 16 years of golf under the same leadership, the Rebels take to the links in the 2014-15 season behind Chris Malloy, whose love for the game began at an early age. You know, we, as I said, kind of lived a little bit out in the country, but the closest thing to us was our country club, you know, Evergreen Country Club. During the summer, we were dropped off at the country club at 9 a.m., you know, when the pool opened, and, you know, if we weren't swimming, then we were playing tennis. If we weren't playing tennis or swimming, then we were golfing. You know, I think back to that, and some of those are the best memories of my life is, you know, sitting at Evergreen Country Club. With life revolving around sports as a child, and with skills that started at an early age, playing golf at the collegiate level seemed natural. It was playing at Ole Miss specifically that took some convincing. Ole Miss? Like what? You know, where's Ole Miss? What is Ole Miss? Where is that? You couldn't script, uh, you couldn't script your time up in college any better than, than what I have. You know, obviously, I don't think a lot of people have a bad time in college, but it was as good of a college experience as I could ever have imagined. It was just, you know, a light bulb. I, I think everyone has a vision of what college is and what their dream for college is. And um, the light bulb went off. This was it. it. It was Ole Miss. And I think you see that a lot with people. And it's fun as a coach to come back to the place that it happened for you to watch that light bulb go off in other guys' heads. After starting as a marketing intern and working his way up to assistant coach at Florida State, Malloy took the head coach's job at South Florida and elevated the Bulls program to a championship level. Then the Ole Miss job opened. You know, I've always been, you know, even when I was at Florida State and even when I was at South Florida, I think that, uh, you know, I, I was always very connected with this program. Uh, Coach Ross did a tremendous job uh, here and uh, uh, left this program in, in very good shape. And he's a friend of mine. Ross and I talked a, at length um, about, you know, getting back, even though it's your dream school, you, you know, I'm always an Ole Miss fan after talking with Ross. I knew it was right. I think anyone that's been in a room with, with Ross Bjork uh, has a way of finding out very quickly that you want to be with him. You want to be on his team. And, and luckily, the stars align that he's a rebel. And uh, I always, you know, I am a rebel and, and wanted to come back. So it was, it was perfect timing. When he took this job, you know, I couldn't have been happier for, for a guy to get this opportunity. And, uh, you know, he's been great. He's shown me a lot. Uh, he's, been, he's a big time leader, he's, he's a big leader. And uh, I understand why, why he's moved up in the ranks as fast as he has in college golf. Coach Malloy, he's the, uh, he's the real deal coach. I wish that I was walking into this program as a freshman with Coach Malloy because he has been around such great players, he knows great players, and he knows what it takes. I see it already on the rise. Um, you know, these guys, these guys came, we, we, we inherited some talented guys, we did. I mean, they're making strides every single day. And I, I'm, I'm more proud of that than, than any of their golf that's going on. You know, I could have had a group of guys that just wanted the easy way out, but I, I've had just the opposite. I've had a group of guys that are dying, you know, to, to be held accountable. Coach Moy has, uh, he's helped me in a lot of ways since he's been here. He's made me realize that the great players don't just do things some of the times, they do them all the time. And the difference between before, you know, I was good, and but I just, I didn't do all the right things to be great. We just need to build, you know, the, the culture. And you know, it's funny, I, I talk with our guys, a word we talk about a lot is accountability. And if our guys hold each other accountable, and for working hard, just doing doing the right things, do right. You know, that that's our big thing, do, do right. I think really what he's gotten through to me is the simple little basic things, you know? But he's shifting this place where the bar is just gonna be, I think, a little higher. Ole Miss sells itself. You know, I don't have to walk them around campus and talk to them about what campus could be. It, this is the most beautiful college campus. You know, I've always said that. When I was at other schools, I would tell you Ole Miss is the most beautiful college campus that I've ever stepped foot on. You can go other place and do it. You, you can go to, to a different school that's done it before, but you got an opportunity here to do it for the first time. That's a special, special feeling. Recruits see that. Um, you know, they want, want a place to, to better themselves. And, you know, as, as much as anything else, they want a good home. And they got that here. You know, we're, we're, we're building that. They're going to be good young men. Uh, and that, that's what we strive to do um, on top of having good golf. But uh, like I said, the, the little things come first, and the golf takes care of itself. You have to want to win the process. And, uh, and, you know, once you buy into that and you do that, consistently, 
you know, over a long period of time, then the success will, will really come. You know, right now we're trying to work on being a little more consistent and our guys certainly do the right things at certain points in time, but we have to do the right things every time.